Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of a four part series I will be doing all about seven aside football. Today's video is all about the rules and regulations. As many leagues and competitions are different, I will be taking a look at one, a professional competition and two, Marissa seven aside football. This is just to give a greater perspective of how the game is played all over the world and on different levels. Each league or competition will have the same category listing the different rules. The first is general requirements, the second is measurements of play, the third is fouls and unsportsmanlike conduct, and the fourth is boundaries and substitutions. Since this is the first of the videos, I'll briefly mention what seven aside football is. In general terms, seven aside football is the same as 11 aside football, except there are seven players on each team, therefore the field is a little smaller. Seven aside football never has the offside rule, which is basically when a player passes the ball to his teammate who is behind the opposition's defense except for the goalkeeper. And obviously, this is still football. So unless you're the goalkeeper, touching the ball with your hands is not permitted. Firstly, we're gonna take a look at seven aside Paralympic football, which is professional football competition. Through the nine years that it has been a Paralympic event, the rules and regulations are constantly changing, which is why I'm focusing on the most recent 2016 Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. As it is the Paralympics, this particular event requires the athletes to have a form of cerebral palsy, which affects their physical play. However, the tactics are still very much executed at a professional level throughout the games. Firstly, we have the general rules of the 2016 Paralympics. The match is 30 minutes long with two halves of 15 minutes. There will be 20 minutes of extra time played if the game is tied at the end. This is only for the semi-final and final games. If there is no winner in extra time, then the game will go into a penalty shootout, which is the same rules as 11 aside football. With measurements of play, the size of the football pitch is required to be 75 meters long and 55 meters wide. The size of the goal, five meters long and two meters high. Regarding information about fouls and unsportsmanlike conduct, the competition basically follows the same rules enforced by FIFA for 11 aside football in terms of yellow cards, red cards, handballs, during free kicks, corners, and penalties, the opposing team's players need to be at least 7 meters away from the ball. Lastly, the boundaries and substitutions mean that there are one-handed throw-ins and when it is a throw-in, you are allowed to roll the ball. Other rules related to the topic, including substitutions, are the same as normal FIFA 11 aside requirements. This means that a maximum of three substitutions are allowed, and these substitutions are not allowed to come off once they've come on. Now, the last competition I will be looking at is Marissa Seven Aside Football. For those who don't know, Marissa stands for the Mekong River International Schools Association and is a competition between the international schools from Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. The general rules of Marissa competition include each team having 10 players maximum, with 7 on the field and 3 substitutions. Each game is 40 minutes long, with 2 halves of 20 minutes, and a 10 minute break between. If there is no winner at the end of a knockout match, then the game goes into a penalty shootout which is carried out in normal fashion. In terms of measurements of play, the size of the field needs to be 70 meters long and 30 meters wide. The penalty semicircle needs to have a radius of 8 meters where the penalty kick will also be taken in the middle. The size of the goal needs to be 8 feet high and 12 feet long. With fouls and unsportsmanlike conduct, yellow cards can be given to players by referees for certain fouls, and a player who is given two yellow cards, aka a red card, cannot play for the rest of the game and another one after that. Substitutions can't be made to replace this player, so the team will be a man down. For free kicks, which are awarded to a team when a foul is called outside of the penalty area, the opposing players need to be 8 or more feet from the ball until the ball is played.
Each team can substitute as many players as they want, but it needs to be done close to the center of the pitch, and the players who are going on and off need to cross each other. Any other rules are carried out in the same way as FIFA laws for 11-a-side football, including throw-ins and free kicks. That's all for this video related to the different rules of 7-a-side football. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about how the game is played and what you should and should not do on the field when it comes to rules. You can check out my other videos related to the tactics of 7-a-side football as well as an analysis of a real-life professional game. The links will be down in the description. Thanks for watching.